Hey everyone, welcome to Palette Collection Bingo. I put all of my palettes in a spreadsheet and once a week I use a random number generator and it tells me which palette I'm going to do for you. So welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. Week 27, I believe, week 27, and the random number generator chose the Nubian 2, Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. I did get this in a in friend mail from Lori Latimer. It says fantastic. And I've used it a couple of times, but I'm really excited to use it today. This is what the color story looks like. Beautiful, rich palette. Um, I love the shimmers in this, and that blue matte is a beautiful blue matte. Um, I'm really wanting to use this shade today. So let's see what we can do with it. One, two. Okay, you guys, I put my hair up. Um, I'm having some hair issues today, so just disregard. It's still very humid here. Um, my eyelids are primed in the Ace Beauté primer, eyeshadow primer. And what are we going to do today, guys? What are we going to do? I don't even know. Uh, because all of the shades that I want to use as a transition are shimmers, so I'm not going to do that. But I think I'm going to take this Morocco shade right here. I think I'm going to put that in my transition crease area-ish. I did not do my face makeup yet because I am going to use some of these darker shades in here. And I can't remember if there was any fallout or not. So we're going to find out together. Oh, that's pretty orange, guys. That's a little orange. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna see where it goes because I have no idea where where I'm going to go with this. We'll see together. Right off the bat, I can tell that is the beautiful Juvia's Place formula. I do love Juvia's Place palettes. Um, they're very affordable, and I strongly strongly recommend them. If you've never tried Juvia's Place, they have a ton of different color stories, and I love them. I love, love, love them. So far, no fallout at all, which makes me happy, happy. And then I think I'm going to go into this Jezebel, because I want to see what this Jezebel does right here, because it looks to be like a, a very deep wine shade, and I kind of want to see what that looks like. So we're going to be doing that. The hair. I hope everyone had a wonderful week this week. Um, I did. It's very, very hectic at work right now, but this was a short week. Oh, I'm putting this on my outer corner. Maybe a little bit up in the crease, but definitely outer corner. Um, tell me something good. I want to know. I want to celebrate with you. It can be anything that made you happy, anything that made your heart happy. I want to know. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything that happened that was really good for me this week. Anthony just got done putting in our new faucet for our kitchen sink and a new garbage disposal. We bought the garbage disposal. Both of them came from Amazon. Um, we got the garbage disposal on Prime Day. It's a Moen. And it has a bigger motor than the one that we had. We've lived here for maybe 10 years. And I think we've bought, I think we've bought one other, I think we've bought one other garbage disposal. Um, I'm not too, I'm not too hard on garbage disposals. I don't put a whole lot down there. Um, the picture, the picture on this. Uh, particular garbage disposal had fishtails and banana peels and all of that kind of stuff on it and I would never I would never put that down my garbage disposal ever um, when my ex-husband and I moved into our first place that was that was the first time I ever had a garbage disposal and um, 
That is a beautiful shade, by the way. It's very pretty. Um, I didn't know that there were things that you shouldn't put down the garbage disposal. How many times? Everybody drink when I say the word garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. um, I put the rest of a, I had made a salad, a big salad for us for dinner. And there was just a little bit of lettuce left. And I put that down there and um, I put potato peels down there and it clogged it up. Oh my gosh, so badly. And I didn't know that you weren't really supposed to do that. Um, the apartment that Bailey and I lived in, the woman down the hall was complaining that the people, people downstairs from her or upstairs from her, I can't remember. There were three floors in the apartment building. And they, were, they put shrimp tails, like shrimp shells and tails down the garbage disposal. And it was coming up through her toilet. I don't know how I felt about that. I think I, I think that would make me a little mad. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to go. I'm. I like that shade. I don't know if I like it with the orange, but I do like the shade. Um, I'm going to go into this Mad Madagascar right here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. And see if that kind of tones that down a little bit, because that's pretty orange. And it is toning it down a bit. I like that. So it's a very cool brown and the orange is a very warm shade. So I'm kind of thinking that it might make it a little bit more neutral. At least that's when I used to do hair. And um, I used to do a lot of corrective color. Like either they got their hair messed up by another salon or... They did it themselves. Um, so if they came in and it was too like brassy, like gold, um, red, really gold, orange, and they didn't want it that way, we would put an ash over it to neutralize it. If they came in and it was green, which happened a lot, uh, then we would put a red on it because that's the opposite of the color wheel. And then it would become some really pretty golden um, not really a red, red, but like a, a very warm red, orange. Um, yeah, you guys don't ever go from blonde to brown in one step. Don't ever do that. You'll, you'll end up green. There are times when you get very lucky and you don't, but for the most part, that's how you turn green. That and blonde swimming in a pool. That will, that will make you green. <clears throat> okay, you guys. I don't, know how, I don't know how I feel about that. But it's okay. It's okay. I really like this shade right here. But I'm, not, I'm thinking it might not be the right shade for this look. So let's go into... Let's go into this Kenya... This Kenya shade right here. And I'm going to kind of put that on. Wow, that is so pigmented. I'm going to put that on that outer, that outer corner. But uh, going back to what Anthony did today, um, we have had this faucet, this new faucet forever and ever. It's the kind that with the sprayer that pulls down. Um, he put that in. So that was really cool. All right, you guys, I'm going to try out these shimmers. Why not? I'm going to go into this. Yeah, this right here. And I'm going to put that on the center, the center to outer lid. And I don't know if I can do that with a brush or if I have to spray it or whatever, but we're going to try it. That's really pretty. That's a pretty shade. It's doing okay with a brush. That is a lot. That is very, very similar to the shade in my crease. What do we do here on Palette Collection Bingo? We just keep going. 
and we might alter our path a little bit. But this is real life here, ladies and gentlemen. Very much real life. I'm going to clean that brush off a little bit, and I'm going to go into this Nefertiti. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm going to go into this Nefertiti shade right here, and I'm going to put that in the front part of my lid. And then, that is a beautiful shimmer. That, that yaw is so pretty. And I'm going to put this Nefertiti on the front part of my lid. And then I'm probably going to end up putting this Zuri on uh, my inner corner, I think. That is very, very pretty. These shimmers are ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love Juvia's Place shimmers. Their mattes are nicely pigmented. I have very, mm, I don't, maybe a little bit of fallout, but not much. Not much at all. And I love that. Such a great formula. This is such a pretty palette. Okay, you guys, I am going to... I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of blend this out a little bit. Maybe. I'm going to go back into that brown, that Kenya, that I used on my outer corner second. And I'm going to bring that up. I need, I need a little bit of dimension up here. Oh, I'm glad I did that. I like that. That is such a pretty dark brown shade. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. That's what it needed. It needed some dimension. Now I'm going to go into that Zuri shade right here. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Guys, my stuff is a mess. That is a beautiful inner corner shade. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit onto my lid. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my flat brush. I'm going to go back into that Nefertiti. These shimmers are effortless. You don't have to spray them. You don't have to do anything to them. I, would, I will really enjoy this palette in the fall, I think. This, this was, would be a very beautiful fall, fall palette. I'm going to add a little bit more of that shimmer to the lid since I put that dark brown in the crease. A little bit of fallout right here, just a very, very tiny bit, but that's why I did my eye makeup first. I think I'm really happy with that. I'm going to blend blend this out just a little bit. I think I'm like I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to like that. Once we have liner lashes and lips on. So everybody, don't go anywhere. I'm going to go do face makeup, liners, lashes, lips, brows, and we'll be back. Welcome back. Finished look. Liner, lashes, and lips makes all the difference. Don't ever write off a look until you put on liner, lashes, and lips. <laughs> because it does. It makes a world of difference. Um, I was kind of on the fence about this look, but I really like it now that I have everything else done. You know what I'm saying? We used the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. Again, I got this in friend mail from Lori Latimer. This is fantastic. And it is such a beautiful palette. And the formula is beautiful.
any issues that I had today were of my of my own doing, not uh, because of the palette, because the palette is it's a beautiful palette. And the formula, the mattes are pigmented and very little fallout. The shimmers are beautiful. I really like it. I like my finished look. What I use on the rest of my face? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I'm going to go like all the way to the beginning. I used the e.l.f. CC cream. It is the camo CC cream. This is my favorite, favorite foundation, favorite drugstore foundation. Um, almost my favorite, favorite foundation. The it cosmetics is a little bit better in my opinion, but the staying power on this, um, is great. I do have to use two shades. I use the 240 and the 280, um, to get my perfect, um, shade. Yeah. Um, and then Elf Camo Hydrating Concealer in pe Light Peach. Um, for my for my cream contour today, I used the Elf Camo Concealer in Tan Walnut. Really love this. It's a it's a, a cooler shade than some of the other darker concealers. What else did I use? Oh, my powder is the RCMA powder. This is an oldie but goodie. I have like two more of these. I bought a set of three off of Poshmark and I just put them in my little lid here and that's what I use. Powder highlight. Essence matte bronzing powder. Freaking love it. It's my favorite. Powder highlight. Powder contour. Powder contour. Um, bronzer. Milani. And this is in the shade Dolce. And I really like this. I'm not sure that I like it as, as well as my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but I do really like it. And then for my blush today, I busted out a palette that I had not used, and it is the Peach Bellini palette. And I used this shade Just Peachy uh, right here in the middle. Um, sometimes warm blushes turn straight orange on me, um, which I don't want. I don't like that. I want them to be more of a neutrally shade. So I did bust that out. I've never used it before. I did get this in my busy beauty box. Maybe my first one, my first one that I got, maybe. Um, liner, I used the Kat Von D cake liner, cake pencil. It's a little baby retractable. It was just a deluxe sample. I just tight lined with it. In my waterline, I used the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Get Loud. Um, it's kind of a bronzy, kind of a bronzy shade. Really like it a lot. Um, mascara Tristique, first two, first two coats. And then my Buxom Extrovert for two coats after that. My lips, I did not use a lip liner today, but I used the Maybelline Ultimate uh, Lip Crayon. And it is, I knew I would should have looked at the shade. It is in the shade something truffle. I don't know if it's more truffle, make truffle, I don't know, but it is a pretty, pretty brown, darker brown shade. I really like it. Again, I think that this is a really nice fall look. Um, but I like it. I'm happy with it. So tell me, you guys, in the comments below, don't forget to tell me something good. Also, tell me what you think of this. Tell me if you think that it's not your cup of tea. If you would have worn a different lip with it, you know, just let me know your opinions. So thanks you guys so much for joining me for week 27 of my palette collection bingo series. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later.